YouTube, my name is Jake Asman. Welcome in to my channel. Another special video, third video of the day, talking about the New York Jets. I'll say it at the beginning and get right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Comment your thoughts afterwards. Today's video, a breaking news video. We're talking about the contract extension that the Jets have just agreed to with John Franklin Myers, their young stud defensive. And we're talking about it. The details aren't exactly out just yet as far as what the contract will look like. By the time you might watch this video, maybe those terms have been released. But moments ago, the Jets have announced they have extended defensive end John Franklin Myers, first reported by the New York Daily News. DJ breaking it, a.k.a. the better version of Anish Mehta, as some would say, breaking the story on this deal and then confirmed by several other reporters who cover the Jets. So John Franklin Myers has been an absolute stud for the New York Jets. Even going back to last year, John Franklin Myers in a lost season for the Jets in 2020 played really well. He was one of those things that you looked at and went, all right, well, maybe there's something here going into 2021. And then I think he has taken his game to a different stratosphere so far in 2021 through the first four games of the season. I give Robert Sala and Jeff Albrecht a ton of credit for developing him. I give credit to Aaron Whitecott, the defensive line coach for the Jets, for maybe maximizing his talent as well. But make no mistake about it, John Franklin Myers is a beast. He's got three sacks in four games, 17 pressures in four games. You combine him with Bryce Huff, the Jets have had a lot of pressure on the edge. And this is without arguably the best defensive player on the team, many would tell you, and Carl Lawson. So looking at what the Jets have this year, they have a pretty good defensive line. Quinn and Williams on that line. Franklin Myers, Bryce Huff. But looking ahead to the future, you now have locked up a foundational piece on this Jets defensive line for years to come. You're going to have to pay Leonard Williams, or excuse me, Quinn, Leonard Williams. You got to pay Quinn and Williams eventually. Maybe this offseason you sign him, but you have him, Carl Lawson, Franklin Myers. You get them all locked up here, and you feel great about the future of this Jets defensive line going forward. Now, you look at Franklin Myers' career. And Joe Douglas deserves a ton of credit for finding this guy. This was a guy that was picked in the fourth round of the 2018 draft. He was released by the Rams in 2019. The Jets claimed him off waivers. He didn't play for the Jets in 2019. But 2020, he saw plenty of time. And he played really well down the stretch for this team. And now we have seen him have a great training camp. And that is carried over into the regular season. JFM is the real deal. I'm going to speculate on the money. I'll take a guess. I'll say it's probably three years, $30 million, give or take. I think the Jets gave him some insurance, and obviously they probably got him on a on a bargain, all things considered, if he had just an epic year and hit free agency. So it feels like the sides met in the middle here, and they got a new deal uh, for John Franklin Myers. So I think if you're a Jet fan, you should be thrilled. One, that your GM identified this guy. Two, that your coaching staff developed him. And three, this guy is good and deserves all the credit for taking the next step as a player. He was, you know, almost an, an afterthought by the LA Rams, right? I mean, they released him, and here, here he is finding his way on the jets and becoming such an impactful player for this team. You know, you look at this jets defense, a lot of young talent that's going to be here now going forward. And that's what this year is all about. Obviously you have the names on this defense, like Quinn and Williams and CJ Mosley guys that have been established players or high draft picks. But you look at this team now, defensively, I mentioned Myers. Obviously, you know, Fatakasi has made some plays on the defensive line. We've seen Sheldon Rankins be a beast, but he's a veteran type. But Bryce Huff's a young guy. You know, look up and down this lineup in the secondary with Bryce Hall playing like a guy that is a potential number one corner. Javelin Gidry has been tremendous in the nickelback slot for this team. I, I was listening to Jeff Obrick rave about how well he has played so far in 2021 Michael Carter both of them offense but in this case defensive Michael Carter has made some plays so I think if you're a Jets fan you got to be very optimistic about just the foundational pieces the young foundational pieces that are being established on this team right now and Franklin Myers is a prime example of that if we're going to use the Daniel Jeremiah you know rule of thumb for how to build a a Super Bowl caliber team 
He's talked about how you need two elite pass rushers on your defense to have a super, super Bowl caliber roster. John Franklin Myers could be that guy. Quinn and Williams could be that guy. And he obviously does a lot more stopping the run up the middle as a defensive lineman than an edge guy. And then obviously if Carl Lawson's healthy next year, we, he certainly is capable of being that guy. So I, I think the Jets are well on their way to having the, the pieces they need on defense to eventually become, if these guys develop and continue to get better, championship caliber. Offensively, you know they need a franchise quarterback. We will wait and see with the development of Zach Wilson, but I'm very encouraged by what we saw last week, him winning, of course, AFC uh, Rookie of the Week. Just, just awesome to see if you're a Jet fan watching that Zach Wilson performance last week. You couldn't not be impressed by what you saw. So, you know, overall, I mean, today's got to be a, a great day for the Jets. Wilson wins Rookie of the Week. John Franklin Myers gets an extension. And I never root for injuries, but unfortunately for the Atlanta Falcons, they're going to be without Calvin Ridley and Russell Gage in this game on Sunday. So you combine all that, and it's a wonderful day for the Jets' chances of winning on Sunday. It's a wonderful day for the Jets' future of Franklin Myers on defense. And obviously, you know, Zach Wilson, second overall pick, finally becoming this team's franchise quarterback they've been missing for 50 years. Today's been a wonderful day for the New York Jets. And I think this is great that they were able to sign this contract extension now. I think it sends the right message to the locker room as well. I, I probably should have made this point, you know, sooner in this video. Think about this. The John Franklin Myers deal. When was the last time the Jets did an extension in season with like a young ascending player? Like I remember in 2019, they gave a contract to Ryan Griffin and that really hasn't worked out. He's been whatever. He's like a, you know, a number three tight end on this team, number two, whatever. But when was the last time the Jets did a deal in season and rewarded the play of one of their own? So I think that should be noted because there was so much talk about how, oh, well, Joe Douglas doesn't sign his own draft picks. He doesn't sign his own guys. And while Franklin Myers was not a draft pick by the Jets, he was a waiver wire claim and a guy that has been with this team now for a couple of years. So it sends the right message to the locker room that if you play well, you can earn an extension. And it poo-poos that narrative that Douglas is somehow afraid to give a contract extension out to one of the players that are actually on the Jets, right? He let Robbie Anderson go and got heat for that. Traded Sam Darnold, traded Jamal Adams. You know, it doesn't look like Marcus May is going to get an extension, but all these were individual evaluations that you have to take into account. I never doubted that Joe D would be willing to pay someone on this team, and he has now paid John Franklin Myers, and I suspect Quinn and Williams could get a lengthy extension this offseason. So, I, I feel really good about, you know, where this team's at. It's amazing what winning a game could do as far as, you know, changing the whole tenor of this fan base. But, you know, as we sit here right now, I think you have to be really encouraged uh, by what the Jets have done so far this year and, and and what they have done here by agreeing to a term with, with John Franklin Myers, who, who I love. I think he's the perfect fit on this team. I mean, let's put it in perspective here. Once again, John Franklin Myers in the final year of his deal, 25 years old, to get an extension done now, it's just incredible. You know, this is a guy that, you know, obviously has a ton of talent and the Jets have been able to develop that talent. So give credit to Joe Douglas, give credit to the coaching staff and give credit to John Franklin Myers. I think this is an awesome, awesome move by the New York Jets. And it's funny, I was talking about signing John Franklin Myers to an extension earlier in one of my other videos talking about this team. So I'm glad they got it done. I didn't think it'd get done this soon. I thought they'd sign him, obviously, but it's awesome that we had this done sealed delivered and uh we get to enjoy now john franklin myers for years to come once again if you're watching this live the terms are not out just yet i'm sure by the time some of you check out this video the terms will be released i'll say three-year deal 30 million dollars but i don't have any inside knowledge on that i'm just taking a guess based on what i think the jets and myers potentially agreed to with that being said thanks to everyone who watched this video if you watched all three of the videos today i had matt o'leary on the channel earlier this morning we did a full comprehensive deep dive into the state of the Jets. Earlier, I did a video talking about the comments that Denzel Mims made um, about his lack of playing time. Basically said he was frustrated, but took the high road, said he's going to work hard and do everything possible to get on the field. So if you want some commentary on Denzel Mims, check out that video. If you want a comprehensive Jets discussion and Q&A, Matt O'Leary was the guest on the channel earlier today. You can find that video 
wherever you find all my videos. Once again, please subscribe. My name is Jake Asman. Bonus Jake Asman show. Once again, Jets and John Franklin Myers agree to a contract extension. Thanks so much to everyone who watched this video and all the videos. And I'll be back with more tomorrow or maybe later today, the way the news keeps breaking for the Jets. Have a good one, everybody.